Uh, nice. Uh, oh yeah, like do we believe that? Ta-da! <clears throat> well, there's the Buell Vortex saddle bags on it. Hoping that license plate won't be uh, readable. Scotch Bright. Not down there, but there! So that's not hardly even worth talking about. Connected. Oh, let's see. Up under there to the little side reflectors, which are completely covered. But uh, no concern about it covering the lights or anything. And uh, certainly not going anywhere. So they do work. <coughs> Same as all the other ones, really. Sorry, I can't see through the thing. Got a heck of a cold strap there. I cut the uh, little loops they give you, the female clips for these things. And I zip tied it on the back here. I don't know if it's possible to sort of get a look at that. There it is. Ta da! I don't have passenger pegs on this bike. Lord knows where they'd end up if I did have them. So, it's a little more of a forward pull, but it's not really going anywhere. It won't interfere with anything. That's my plug. This side you have to be a little more careful with because, of course, you got your uh, brake master cylinder in there. But, same kind of thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, that kind of deal, a little expansion in the side. That ought to give me something so I don't have to worry about backpack. And no tank bag. There's just not space for a tank bag on this thing. However, comments on Cortex quality. You know, I wasn't surprised that they weren't the best out there. Uh, but I didn't expect them to be quite so, uh, I don't know, just sort of junky and unfinished. And there's a lot of rough edges. I mean, I'm sure they'll work fine. Uh, they're a lot more lighter weight than you might think as well. This is a very lightweight material. I guess there's no substantialness to it. Of course, you saw how the other side zipper was finished. That one's like that. That one's just sort of flying out there like that. And, you know, not, uh, not hyper impressed here. Uh, but they do give you these little neoprene you know, these rubber back things. Go down the sides, which are removable. They got a little, uh, a little cross spot here. And these straps attached to the bags. Velcro, 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 Velcro. And then, of course, they give you the little rubbers here. Neoprene stuff. So, you know, it's not going to go anywhere uh, on the bike. And they're kind of the smallest... I can get. And they do work. This is an SS Lightning Long. For in case anybody else sees this. <laughs> ah, that was my head on the canoe that doesn't know. But, so bear with me as I fling myself about here. The, uh, you know, that's not exactly a ton of clearance, particularly. I'm hoping I'm filming it right. Since most of, the, most of the time I'm riding my, you know, your balls or your feet are actually on the peg. But I don't think my heel will significantly interact with that. There I'm actually hitting it, but I've got to go a little bit out of the way. Uh, shifting, of 
course, are in the normal position like that, there's not going to be any problem, but I almost always kick my heels up here. <coughs> so, and anybody noticing the uh, pan down there will realize, of course, it's a fuel, so it's a Harley engine, and that's proof because it drips, it leaks, so, you know, if it leaks, or it's, it's a Harley engine, it's got to leak. So at any rate, Cortex bags give me something that I can actually uh, put a few things in a little more easily. I got underneath the seat just stuffed with tools and tire fixings. So they do expand out a little bit. Anybody need to actually know about the bag? I don't know. So they will expand out quite a bit. They do have a few thoughtfulnesses. There's this rigid kind of flap. It stays up like that when the bag is squished in. And then when you unzip it, ta-da, it lays down to give it a little more shape. I really don't know what that's all about. And that. You know, there's a few things in here I don't got. There's a foam padding stuff put in. And then, uh, oop. Semi rigid backboard that's replaceable in this little pocket. But how many times I carefully close it, I still end up with uh, wrinkles. I did this without holding a camera and whatnot. And uh, I just, I'm going, well, possibly not the most sophisticated out there. And basically every bag design I've seen is exactly like these or so similar it doesn't make a difference. Um, and these are some of the cheaper ones. So I mean they're they're okay. Semi universally. Get a little extra space because that pushes in. Because I got nothing back there. See? See? No rear pegs. Well that's a little better. Now you can kind of See there how I did that. This went to the reflectors. Uh, let's see. Also, side pocket rain dust cover things, which I left in there, but I don't know that I'll ever use them. And that's rain gear for anybody. These little things, I think, are for if you have their tail bag. But my rump lands right about here. I don't know how I could have their tail bag on this bike. It's so, so small of a bike. It's uh, impressively small actually. But boy, it corners like mad. Scary. Okay, bye.